How to overclock your processor on Linux. Now the steps for overclocking are pretty basic. You get a massive heatsink on your CPU, you up the CPU clock, you test the computer for stability, you increase the voltage until it's stable, and if the temperature is too high you decrease speed until you get a nice balance between voltage, speed, and temperature. Most of these steps are pretty much the same on or off of Linux, and most of them can be done straight from the BIOS, so it doesn't need any special software. So I'm going to focus entirely on this step, testing the computer for stability. Now there are two things you'll probably need for this. The first is something to torture test your system. Now while there are torture test tools that you can probably install straight from your package manager, such as Burn MMX, aka CPU Burn, most people prefer something that's been a bit more tested, and since most overclockers have used Windows, they're mostly used to Prime95. Now Prime95 is this ugly little Windows program here. It makes a window just to open a terminal, basically, so we won't need that on Linux because we've already got a terminal. So Prime95 in Linux is called mPrime. You're going to have to download it because it's not open source, it probably won't be in your repository. M prime is fairly simple, you just run it, you select torture test, and the defaults will do, and then it'll 100% your system, and if you've overclocked it, it'll probably raise the temperatures to ADC or something. The point is, it's a torture test tool. It's designed to stress your system as far as it'll go. And this is what we'll use to check that our computers are stable once we've overclocked them. But there's another thing you'll need too, especially if you're using an Intel CPU. You see, Modern Intel CPUs have their base clock. I can never see if mine's going over 3.4 GHz, so we need a special program that will ask the very specific Intel architecture what exactly it's running at. And this is harder to find out than you'd think, so there's another program called i7z which will get this data for us. Now when we run i7z it'll look like this and it'll basically just sit there and do nothing until we start our torture test and we can see that it's pushing it all the way to 4.5 GHz. But how do we know that it's stable? Now a basic tutorial on how CPUs work. CPUs are, like anything in the physical world, unstable. They could give the right answer, they might not give the right answer. They aren't completely digital like the stuff that's being run on them. So what the CPU does is it checks all of its answers that it returns to make sure that they're right. If it finds a mistake, it just runs it over again and then fixes it. And it finds a lot of these mistakes. So sometimes, a mistake will get through. When a mistake gets through, that's instability. That's the point where you need to up your voltage so that your CPU is more precise. Now the problem is, Linux is smarter than most operating systems. In fact, it detects these problems and then fixes them itself, so much so that the Prime program can't even tell there's a difference. So you can't just look at the Prime program because Linux does its very best to maintain stability. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop open a terminal, then run dmessage, which shows important messages since you booted, and then grep will search those messages for the words machine check event. Now if you get this line, hardware error machine check event log, then Linux has detected a problem coming from the CPU and fixed it. That's all well and good, but it means your CPU isn't really stable. So this will probably throw some problems your way soon enough. So, in short, overclocking on Linux is very similar to on other operating systems. You just change the settings from the BIOS, switch out your torture test tool for M-Prime, and rather than looking at M-Prime to make sure that there's no instability, look at your system logs, because they'll be more detailed.